Good morning, everybody. Happy Sunday. Today we are headed to my mother's. We're gonna help her do some stuff around there and it is a extremely windy day here. I've got some rain going on and uh, you know, I don't know that we'll get anything from storage because if it's too windy, we're afraid that things will blow out the back even though we tie it down. I don't know that Christmas stuff is gonna happen today, but definitely some kind of vintage recipe is gonna happen. I'm gonna do some chili since I didn't do it yesterday because I don't know what time we'll be back or you know what's gonna happen with my mother um, if she's gonna end up wanting us to eat there you know or not I just I want to be back before dark so we'll see how that goes so I'm gonna just throw some chili in the crock pot and we're gonna make a vintage dessert So one of my memories of my grandparents is they would sit down at the breakfast table every morning and they would get the newspaper and drink their coffee and have their breakfast which is usually oatmeal or eggs and toast and grandpa would always do the crossword puzzle that came in and grandma would clip all the recipes that she thought looked so good and so in this box, I have all kinds of my grandmother's recipes that she clipped from all different, all different years. This one's from 79, um, let's see, this one is from 79, <laughs> like Christmas savings can wait. It keeps that TV and everything. Um, see, and this one is from 89. This one is from 2006. So, I mean, it's just all different. All different ones. This one's from 81. And then, of course, I have lots that she wrote down recipes. So sweet. So this is what I am going to pick. Our recipe today is from this box of goodness. Okay, so this is the one I decided on. Remarkable peanut butter fudge. And this actually is the recipe that my grandmother has always used. And it's sugar, evaporated milk, butter, marshmallow cream, and vanilla. Okay, we're going to start with one can of evaporated milk, one cup of butter, four cups of sugar. We're going to stir and cook this until it turns to a soft ball stage. Okay, 
Okay, it's been five minutes. I'm gonna check to see if it's in softball stage yet. All you do is ice water in a cup, and then you pick it up and see if you can make a little ball. And I can, and it's soft. If it wanted it to be hard ball stage, then it would be a very hard, um, like firm ball. So we're gonna go in and remove this from the heat. I'm going to go in and remove this from the heat. And to this, I'm going to add one jar of marshmallow fluff. This is a seven ounce jar. And add a teaspoon of vanilla and a cup of peanut butter. And then we stir. And this is the part where you just stir and stir and stir. And we usually stir this for 15 to 20 minutes sometimes maybe even 30 minutes. Um, just depends on what we have time for. The more you stir, the better. And you'll start to get good muscles in your arms. We usually hand it off for people to stir. The more you stir, the creamier your fudge is gonna be. This will also harden up the more you stir. You get up here. What are you playing? Toys. Toys? With what toys? <gasps> Calico critters. My favorite. They're the sweetest little bunnies and cats yeah. and elephants and the girls used to play with these all the time. Which one's your favorite? The front loader. The front loader? <laughs> Which one's your favorite little guy? This. Just the front loader? But you're playing with the guys. Which one's your favorite? The bunnies or the bears or the beavers? Or the elephants or the pandas? Who's your favorite? I'm just playing with the front loader. I'm just playing the front loader with it? I don't know if you guys can see, the wind is literally blowing so hard, it is blowing our fence. I don't know if the camera can get that out.
Charles is out getting my chimney cap because the wind literally blew our new chimney cap off. So he will have to put it on. And he doesn't want us to go anywhere. He doesn't want us to go anywhere in this wind even though we were going over to my mother's. And so my mother just messaged. She's like, you're not coming here, are you? Because my chimney is swaying. <laughs> and it's just, I don't want you guys out on the roads, you know, with the wind blowing cars and stuff around. And I said, all right, then we'll just wait. So I think just the girls and I will go over tomorrow. And now change plans. We're just staying home. <laughs> sitting here going through recipes. You know, we're all just beep, hanging out. Beep, on this blustery beep, day. Beep, beep, beep. Beep, beep, beep. Beautiful music. That's a good song. Beep, 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 beep. 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 Sorry about that. <laughs> we ended up stop filming because we didn't go anywhere. Even little Theo tried to take a walk yesterday and he was like blowing in the wind. <laughs> so we just sat around and we watched Santa Claus part one, two, and three. Uh, just had a little movie marathon, ate our chili, and just stayed nice and cozy. And thank goodness we didn't lose power. A lot of people did. My mother did not. We did not. So that is just how our night ended. I want to jump on real quick and just say thank you guys so much for watching and I'll be recording more today for you guys of Grandma's Recipes and recording our day today. So we will see all of you tomorrow. I hope all of you have a wonderful day or evening wherever you are. Bye everybody.